in this video i am going to discuss the module wise path strategy for the subject computer networks so first module it is introduction and physical layer from that you can see the tier 1 questions that is a guaranteed questions osi versus tcp ip reference models this is the most important topic then physical topologies star bus ring mesh hybrid etc then tier 2 that high probability questions that is performance indicators numericals practice problems on transmission rate propagation delay and bandwidth delay product then signal encoding manchester and differential manchester then coming to the tier 3 questions this transmission mode simplex half duplex full duplex you know the definition and one example for each now coming to module 2 which is data link layer in that the tier 1 questions means the most important question that is sliding window protocol go back n versus selective repeat then csma slash cd csma slash ca a top tier comparison question explain the difference between detection and avoidance then crc cyclic redundancy check numericals then tier 2 question that is with high probability that is ethernet ieee 802.3 for frame format then framing methods and bit by stepping then module 2 tier 3 question it is network devices switch bridge router now the osi layer each operates on and its primary function then we can come to the module 3 module 3 tier 1 questions which are the guaranteed questions are distance vector versus link state routing then routing algorithms through numericals then tier 2 high probability questions are congestion control algorithms leaky bucket and token bucket then count to infinity problem then tier 3 questions it is quality of service now the key parameters low latency low jitter and high bandwidth so these are about the third module questions then coming to fourth module network layer in that the guaranteed questions tier 1 questions are subnetting slash cadr numericals then address resolution protocol then tier 2 question with high probability that is ipv4 versus ipv6 comparisons then dhcp dynamic host configuration protocol then tier 3 questions it is icmp ospf and bgp then module 5 transport and application layer in this the guaranteed question tier 1 questions are tcp versus udp you can this questions you can read then tcp three way handshake then tier 2 questions it is with high probability that is dns domain name system then ftp file transfer protocol tier 3 question it is http then email protocols smtp pop3 iamp so these are the module wise questions so while studying you can use the strategy you can complete tier 1 questions which is of which are the guaranteed questions that you can complete from all the modules then you can go for tier 2 then tier 3 or otherwise you can learn module wise also one module you can complete and then come to the next one then the smart work principles for this exam it is diagrams are very important so questions like explain with a neat diagram are free marks practice drawing osi tcp ip layers topologies frame formats then tcp three way handshake etc then comparison type questions in that differentiate between the two things the osi versus tcp ip vv versus ls tcp versus udp csma cd versus csma ca then come after the numericals these are guaranteed high scoring questions so numericals you can expect from module 1 performance metrics module 2 crc module 4 subnetting and module 3 routing algorithms so so these are we have prepared this based on previous year question papers analyzing the previous year question papers All the best for your exam. Thank you.